Those verdicts are what Tim Bosma's widow Charlene has been waiting three agonizing years to hear. For three years we have been in and out of this courthouse forced to look at and breathe the same in the same space with the utter depths of depravity in our society. We have had to endure being near the two men that walked down my driveway on May 6, 2013 and took away the bright life in our lives that was Tim. According to the evidence, those men, Dellen Millard and Mark Smitch, had planned for a year to find a used Dodge 3500 pickup truck through online classifieds, steal it and kill its owner. Tim Bosma's online ad fit the bill. When he took the men for a test drive, they carried out their plan. One of the men shot Bosma inside his truck. They then burned his body in this powerful animal incinerator where investigators found his bone fragments. Police also found the truck in this trailer at Millard's mother's house. The case gripped and disturbed people across the country, first because of how randomly chosen the victim was, and also because of the background of one of the killers. Dellen Millard was the wealthy CEO of the aviation company founded by his grandfather. But he also used and sold drugs, owned guns, and hung out with people like Smitch, a small-time drug dealer with a long criminal record. The first-degree murder convictions carry mandatory life sentences with no eligibility of parole for 25 years, a sentence the judge imposed today describing the crime as despicable, incomprehensible, and unimaginable. For Tim's murderers, their life sentence begins now, and ours began over three years ago when they murdered Tim. That being said, Although we endure a life sentence without Tim, we have learned to collectively laugh again, to smile, and embrace what we still have. We have memories, a lot of very beautiful memories. 